So, has creation done its job? So one half of the statement is right. No contradiction about that. Have you done your job? No. So the other part is also right. At the same time I'm saying being upasana because your role in the existence is so small. Everything that happens to you largely is being done to you. Are you spinning the planet? No. Could you live if it di did not spin? Could you live? No. Are you managing the atmosphere? No, you're spoiling it but you're not managing it. <laughs> are you making your heart beat? No. Are you breathing? Everything that's vital to life is happening, isn't it? Your business is just to become receptive to the bounty of life, to know life in its fullest way. If you're willing to be blissful, joyful, do something worthwhile about yourself or you're willing to do something worthwhile about ten people around you, we will take care of your living also. All you have to do is, to whom? Just the creation. Isn't it big enough to bow down? Isn't it big enough to bow down? Just the creation. On top of that you want one more thing? Isn't creation itself big enough to bow down, I'm asking? Isn't the mountain big enough to bow down? I find even the tree and uh, ant big enough to bow down because not one of them can we figure. All your intelligence, you can't figure a leaf upon this tree, one leaf. So, just the sheer intelligence of everything that is happening, when you can't figure anything, what do you do? That's all I said. Stay in Upasana because anyway your role is so minor in this existence that tomorrow morning if you evaporate, no problem. Only if you leave your mess here and go, problem. But if you simply evaporate, no problem for anybody, isn't it? Yes or no? So your role in your own life is so minor, so very minor, everything is being done to you, just everything. So, how can you be the hero? When you have a two-bit role, if you think you are a hero, you are making a serious mistake, isn't it? That's all I am talking about. I am not talking about doing any great spiritual sadhana. But if you, are, if you live in truth, that is the sadhana, what else? To stop the lies that you are creating, that is all the sadhana. Searching for truth, knowing truth does not mean you have to go in search of it somewhere. It's not hiding behind the mountain, it's on this side, you know. Right now this part of the planet is dark, so will you go looking on the other side? No, it's here. Truth means just this. Whatever there is, is truth. Whatever you have made up is a lie, that's all there is, isn't it? And uh, you being a hero in this existence is your rubbish. It's got nothing to do with reality. So if you understand that, you understand you have a very minor role in the existence, not just in the making of the existence, in your own life. Even if something as simple as breath or heartbeat is left in your hand, you will be a complete mess within a minute. Yes or no? So, I am not saying anything new, not a teaching, just reminding you the reality of what your life is. And that's all living in truth means, that you are not made up anything. 
you are not writing your own story, you are you are trying to live life. If you live life, you can only live it the way it is. Only if you make up a story, you can make your own story, isn't it? If you are doing fiction, you can make it up the way you want. If you are living life, you can live life only the way it is. There is no other way to live. So do not think it's some kind of a teaching. That's how life is. So just live it, don't make up any story. If you make up an, a story which is not true and believe it is true, when your script comes to an end, then you'll be at loss because <laughs> there's nothing. If you go with reality, it is on, whether you're alive or dead, it's on. You being with it is the safest way to be, best way to be. That's the only way you can experience life. Otherwise, you will experience the treachery of your own words, nothing else.